Hi folks, Glyn Jewish here. Now while we're out, I just thought it'd be handy to record a quick tutorial for one of the questions I get asked about a lot, and that's to do with perspective when I'm doing a composite. How do I get the floor, the angle of the floor, to match the angle that the person was photographed in the studio so the two matched up? Now this is really, really simple. What I don't do, I don't take measurements, I don't write things down or anything like that. All I do is I remember that when I am in the studio, generally when I'm photographing somebody full length, I tend to go down to kind of like down to one knee and I'm using my 70-200, which is my favourite lens, and I kind of focus and I take a shot from this kind of angle. So it's pretty simple. So when I'm out and about and I'm collecting the floors for the pictures that I'm going to be building, I take the picture in exactly the same way. So I come out with my 70 to 200, I go down to one knee, I choose the track, and this track here is the one that I was using, uh, you actually see it on the screen now, it's the soldier picture, the Afghanistan scene. That was taken exactly in the same place here. Grass has grown a bit because we've had a lot of water, a lot of rain, a lot of sun, so obviously things have changed. But all I did, down on one knee, get the camera up, 70 to 200, and what I'm doing is I'm using the same, uh, same F number as what I did in the studio. F8, F11. And the reason for that is so that the person I'm photographing is in focus from the tip of their nose, way, way behind them. So then I can put a scene in and it looks realistic, kind of. So I'm going to photograph them. I'm say F11. I'll then focus on a point which is about as far away as what the model was in the studio down the track here. So he was maybe, I don't know, 12 foot away from me. So I'll focus on a point on the floor 12 foot ahead of me. I'll then compose it so that I'm at the same angle as when I took the shot. Then I'll take a couple of shots. So clickety-click. And that's basically it. The angle's then going to be the same. The photograph in the studio will then match up and everything works seamlessly. So nothing technical there, nothing written down. Nice and simple. Best way to work it. Don't overcomplicate things. Hope that's handy. Back to me in the studio.